the sanctum of the ancients, the first footfalls in this tomb for centuries. This place gives me the creeps. After you. So there you go. In Tomb Raider 4, we start as a teen, or let's say child, Lara Croft. I know that we have eight secrets to find on this first level. And yes, Lara is transparent because this is a new thing that was implemented on Tomb Raider 3, where you can watch through Lara when you are performing this. Okay, so I know that I will find these eight circuits on the first level, but what I know is that on the other ones probably I won't be able to find them because I suck. And this is a regular playthrough. Okay, so yeah, no secret whatsoever in here. Careful, all is not as it seems. Concealed traps and pitfalls await the unwary. You must stay close and follow my instructions. I find it awesome, the voice acting of this guy. You must follow my instructions. I, I really find it awesome. So this is the first secret that you will find on the level. So it's very easy. Don't worry, it uh, it won't be like this on the, the other levels. It will be just as defying as the other Tomb Raiders. This we must respect it. We will not deviate from its route, and you will not deviate from my instruction. This way. Sure. So it's a it's a little bit annoying level because um, Von Croy is or Werner is always getting in the way, and we need to follow him. And there is cutscenes all over the place. But I think it was a necessary thing and revolutionary because by the time Tomb Raider 1, Tomb Raider 2 and Tomb Raider 3 never have like a cutscene where it explained how the game worked. Well, pretty much like Dark Souls, I guess. Uh, no, Dark Souls have a little tutorial by text. And this game don't explain anything at all. Uh, I mean, Tomb Raider 1, 2 and 3 didn't explain anything and Tomb Raider 4 was the first game to explain how the things did work. Small hawk to test your how do you say plug. Press and hold walk. Now push forward. Okay. So you need to find another secret that it is located down here. By the way, I I'm just telling you where the secrets are and I know the exact paths that I need to do because before recording this video I completed the game until level 10. Because my initial idea was to make this channel um, a gameplay, a playthrough channel, but without commentary. But reaching level 10 and spending more than one hour trying to play through that level and recording, I find that, that I don't know, only a crazy person would watch me playing through one hour without any single commentary to explain what the hell was going on. And I guess that I can talk without come, come, child. Do not and talk. I mean. This is merely an appetite. Push forward and jump together. Hey, Werner. I know how to play this, okay? I'm a child, but I'm very good. I'm Mara Croft. I can win you. I'm warning you. So then this pig or javelin appears. And we don't have any weapon to kill it. So we need to wait for Werner to kill it. Which is annoying. And it can take damage to us. By the way, you want to see it? Oh, look, he's just running away. Attack me! There you go, damage. Oh, by the way, since my channel is called Grumpy Turtle, which is nothing related to that video of that uh, tortoise um, mating with another tortoise. <laughs> I, I gave them this name to the um, to the channel because I always remind myself of that turtle. If you go to the YouTube and search for um, mating tortoise, you are going to find a, a tortoise that is mating with a tortoise, I guess. A female tortoise, let's say this way. And you are going to hear something like uh, the tortoise is above the, the female tortoise with, the, with the, um, the mouth wide open and just saying... <coughs> 
<laughs> I always laugh with that thing. And so because of that I gave the name to the I gave the name Turtle to the channel. I decided to put Grumpy because I remember of the, the Grumpy card. So yeah, that was the reason behind the name of this channel. It's kind of stupid, okay? But I thought it it would be fun because, you know, this channel is not to be too much serious. It's just a reacted playthrough. I'm not going to find all the stuff. I will make some commentaries along the way. But it's going to be, like I said, it's like watching your brother playing. It's, it is supposed to be a relaxed channel. So before going forward, um, one of the best things that you can do is um, just jump down here and grab um, another skull, another golden skull that is in here. Another suggestion is you can just drop down through there, which is pretty apparent. Okay, so you can go back now and hear the Werner instructions, like he says. Yeah. So let's go. The pace is quickening now, yeah? One more yeah. crossing child. Or do you wish to stop for tea? Oh, I think I can just about hold it together. Wouldn't want to spill it on your nice suit, at any rate. This is really offensive because, in case you don't know, yeah, Lara Croft is English and I think that Von Croy might be English despite it looks like a German. Uh, but, uh, in case you don't know, the famous tea from London, so uh, yes, all the people from London and England are so obsessive with the teas and um, who were the ones that did introduce the teas to the to the English people? Oh, it was the Portuguese. And in case you don't know, yes, I'm Portuguese. I'm no English. Let's go, Van Croy. These Portuguese will teach you how to jump. Let's go. A useful crack rendered by the hand of time, invisible to the untrained eye. You're a regular superhero, Werner. Ah, yes, the super. Well, not all the superheroes wear a cave. Uh, what? Cave? Cape. Now press forward and hold action to grab on. Now press right to shimmy across. All right. Oops. The only games I remember to have ends like this, completely gold, without fingers, was Sims 1. I remember on Sims 1, when we put, like, for example, my wife on the game, uh, eating food, she was, like, using the ends like it was a knife to, to just cut the beef. That was so funny. Because, yeah, there was no fingers and the ends use, uh, seems like a damn knife. Turn around to face away from the door. Nice teleport, mate. The mechanism to activate the bridge lies at the other side of the stream. These rivers cascade through chambers and caverns deep below these prehistoric foothills. As a consequence, freezing. I guess. Nope. The old gal playing up again, Werner. So yes, that is another skull in here. Also, you can find some extra stuff through here. Which is a big med pack and a small one. It's going to be useful, alright? I don't think there is more stuff to, f to be found in here. So you need to go 
and go here. No prizes for you this time, Lara. Ah well, use forward and left and right to move across the surface until you reach the shore. Then press action to climb out. Of course. Let's go. Oh no. Let's go, old man. Let's go find some stuff. So the PC version supports uh, volumetric lights. Uh, which I'm not really sure if it was like this at the launch, but by now, on 2017, it looks exactly like this, which is a little bit abusive. You will catch your but when, it, uh, when it's rightly applied, it's fine. I never knew you cared. Dear Lara, you are a valuable asset to the press. You are romantic, you. <laughs> yes. I just hope Von Croy is not a pedophile. To walk up to the map, now press and hold action to climb up on you. Keep this button pressed and use forward to climb to the top. No! That's gone a little bit wrong. Swiftly across the vines now. Now press forward. Uh, okay, so as you can see, Lara as a child already had boobs and a little bit of ass. So it was expectable that when she was grown up. You could have that big boobs that she have on the chest and that nice ass. Shit. More Javelis? Ah, oh, there you go. Just kill it, I need to eat something. No. Okay. So there is an extra secret in here. He's following me. But you can grab in here. Okay. Not sure if I can advance in here without Van Croy, but I'm not going to wait for him because it's concentrated trying to knife Javelis. So I don't really want to do it. Just going to export a little bit in here. I'm not really sure how much Golden Skulls are missing. I know that there are eight, but we have five, so that is actually three missing. Okay, so we entered in here. I'm going to the to the right. That is also an extra skull. Careful with these spikes. If you just get close to it, you start to lose uh, HP, health. Okay, and there is no more secrets in here. Von Croy is coming. Let's see if he goes through the spikes. Oh, nice. 
Nice thing. Let's go. No mention of this in the texts. I fear this must be opened internally. We must enter through the grate and be wary of snares. I presume by we, you refer to me. Yeah. My yeah. heavier frame may activate traps. You will pass unnoticed. How, How convenient. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking exactly the same thing. How convenient, <laughs> really. Bringing a child to a place where it Thank you, Werner. Press and hold the crouch button. Okay. Push forward to crawl into the gap. Okay. Okay. So, like I was saying, how convenient to bring a child to a dangerous place like this one. you come to the left that is also some stuff you can pick up like another golden skull which now is just one more missing for this level okay I I, d I don't want to stress you out about this but remember that this is a playthrough channel is not supposed for me to find all the stuff I will try but I don't promise okay that I can find all. Probably not. I'm not going to find it all. I'm going to let you enjoy the cutscene because this is very good. There you go. So we have the backpack, the famous backpack, backpack from Mara. Ooh, scary. Let's get back to Werner. I'm not sure if Werner or Von Croy is the same guy. I think yes. I'm kind of confused about the Lara Croft ah, history. A let us hope it does not hold the same luck for you as its previous owner. I make my own luck, Werner. What now? This guy... This guy should have an eye on his ass. So he saw my backpack while standing back to me. Nice ass, man. Nice ass. Now it begins. The eyes of the ancients are upon us. And their vengeance is wrathful. We must move quickly. When running, press and hold sprint to gain extra speed. Okay. You don't need it right now. Okay. Although you are going to need it in here. And now. Dive through the gap. Dive through the gap. Press jump to perform a dive. I think I, I did catch every single spike in there. How unlucky. And so the last skull is in exactly in here, okay? So the thing is, I told you that this was supposed to be natural, but like I told, I'm not sure if I told you before. Um, I completed this game. At, ah, yes, I told you. Yes, yes, I told you that. I completed the game until level ten, and so there are some stuff that I still remember. This thing is kind of strange because she uh, he suggests me that there is a path to the right about the heretical, but we can't open or use the skulls. You know, it's um, kind of weird. We are pretty much forced to go after him, as far as I know. Possibly there is another way, but I don't know that. So I'm just going to play through here. 
but like I was telling you, uh, yes, since I completed the game until level 10 before, there are some stuff that I know, so it's not really genuine. But after level 10, it will be truly genuine, okay? Yeah? <clears throat> After that, you need to jump here. Push forward. Now press and hold action. When you are hanging from the ledge, hold down crawl to squeeze into the gap. To squeeze into the gap. Squeeze. I'm squeezing into the gap. I love this voice acting, really. I, I, I'm being honest, I, I really love it, I find it very funny. Swing across to the alcove, jump from the ledge, then hold down action to grab the vine. To release, let go of action. So, this is one of the problems with the game. So, the game makes a tutorial explaining all the stuff regarding Lara Croft, but they really failed to explain the rope. I lost countless, countless hours, no, I'm joking, I just lost countless minutes on Google searching for a way to to pass this part, because look, um, it just tells you that you need to jump and grab the vine, like I told you, and when, I, when it was ready to just let go the action button, for her to, for Lara Croft to, to drop the vine. So, I'm pressing action button, and you need to, to continue pressing it, just to, to, to continue grab to the vine, or to the rope, or to whatever. But if you press forward, you do expect Lara to just uh, balance herself to the to forward, but no. What it happens is she goes up, and if you press down, she goes down. So, how do you balance the rope? Well, it's with the sprint key, which is something that Werner, or Core Design, fails to explain. You need to press the sprint key. And after ready, just drop or press jump in order to get out, okay? So that's the trick. And with that, we conclude the first level. Hope you did enjoy this um, first video of my playthrough. Don't forget to leave... Okay, I have a notification that I have a dentist on the... Just like in 15 minutes I have dentist. But uh, guess what? I guess I'm not coming. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, it was postponed to the next week, my dentist. So, I guess... Uh, today is not needed to go there, but I forgot to change the notification and so now I have a notification that I need to, to have a dentist. I guess Lara Croft too, I never see his uh, earth if, I mean. So yes, this concludes the first level. Hope you did enjoy the video and I do expect you to see on the next video that will be level 2. Thank you a lot for watching and I do hope to see you soon. Goodbye guys, thank you a lot.